Okay, yeah. Enough? I do, yes. Very good. All right, let me know what, what, tell me what you did with this. That's the reason I thought I'd just have a couple of minutes. I was doing some work here. What, tell me what you did with this for the option. <clears throat> um, what I'm doing with it. Well, what did you do with it? Did you take more? Did you keep what you had? Did you, obviously you told me that you were still in it. Yes, I I actually had the the one fifty fives, and then I well after it pulled back, I then decided now I'd take some one sixties, and the one sixties are up, the one fifty fives aren't, they're still down a bit. Yeah, so you took the one fifty fives just because of the fact that they were cheaper. Is that why you did it? Well, right. yes, they were cheaper, and at that time, they weren't too far away anyway. Yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. Obviously, we've pulled back quite significantly, so that's why I thought I would take the 160s. Just FYI, I've been giving two choices because some people can afford the higher strike, but FYI, I, if you can afford the higher one, do it. Because obviously the closer one is always better, even if it would go into the second one, you'd be up more. So FYI, I'm doing that because some people can't afford to take the other ones that have very small accounts. I mean, smaller than yours. So that's right. why I'm doing that. So FYI, it's always better if you can afford to take the one that's closer to the strike, even if I give two, just for future reference. Right, okay, thanks. I mean, yeah. the fact that you're in two is is is, is fine. Um, so so you did not add to the 155s, you took the second strike. <clears throat> um, I took the second strike, but I also added as well on the day that you said add. Yeah, I that, took a the, few yeah more. that was Friday. Yeah, well, that was Friday, yeah. Yes, yes, I did take a few more, handful, handful on Friday to increase the position, yes. Okay, so... They got to be not that much, not that much uh, down for the 155s. They got to be not that far away. I mean, I didn't yeah, look at the Yeah, I mean, the, the 155s, I'm down $65 at the moment. Yeah, that's, so okay. that's yeah. yeah. And the other but, ones, you said you were up like 150 bucks. Uh, no, up 1200 Oh, oh, that's great. Why did yeah. I think you said 155 Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, you it's were fantastic. saying 155 <laughs> strike. I thought you meant $150. Yeah, I didn't understand your email. I was reading that when I was in the car. Okay, so what are you going to do? So how much do you have then of those 160s? The ones that are up a lot, how many contracts do you have? I have 20. So this could be another big trade for you. So again, what did what have you learned from this? What did you learn from this? I mean, have you learned anything from this or not? Well, well, yes. I mean, you can obviously significantly increase your price if you take it when it's pulled back for a few days. No. <laughs> F minus failure. You did not <laughs> learn a single solitary thing. And the fact that you said the word pullback is an immediate F on your paper. I cannot seriously, 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 Philip. Well, well that, honestly, uh, honestly, honestly, where I took this I'm being this honest. Position, Huh? Is it where I took this position? It it increased it increased my profit phenomenally. I told you to add more to the trade on Friday, but that's not the point. The day that I called it, the day yes. that you took it, and then you emailed me every day until then you were back in the room or whatever day that was. You almost killed it. If you had no, the fifty percent no, rule, you no, would have no, no. killed it. No, you didn't. You didn't really put my point across. I was just asking you, and I only asked you once, if your opinion had changed when it broke. Yeah, I know what that. I know what that means. That's what everyone was asking me because people yes. get worried and afraid because it was going in the wrong direction. But there was nothing wrong with the chart. So if you need to ask me for it, that's a telltale sign that your conviction is waning. No, but I wasn't asking you for it. I was asking your opinion. You, you were asking my it. opinion because you were losing conviction. Just be honest. No, I mean, no, I wasn't thing. actually. It, it actually did everything that it should be doing, and I'm sitting on this. And I'm, I'm waiting for it to break that low of 160 because that's where I believe it's going. The fact that you even describe this as a pullback, it, it means that you didn't well, learn anything from it's this. Not, it's technically a correction, really, if you want to look at it. That's like another that. bad word, F. <laughs> <laughs> and this 
didn't well, do everything well, I wanted. No, it didn't. It should have gone the day that I called it, quite frankly. Yes, it's going to work, but it's only going to work because I called it out so far. If I had called it shorter in, this probably would, I mean, this would have, only the 160s would have, would, would oh, be yes. working if I oh, only yes. called it out for two weeks. I, I, I called it I out agree. for so far. Yes. So I called it yes. out for so far because I did, but even still, no, this should have gone right away as it didn't. The fact that it didn't, it just didn't, but I never said it did anything wrong, but the fact is that you asked me because you almost lost conviction in it, whether you want to, whether you want to no, admit it or no, not, it doesn't I, matter, I, totally I know. Disagree. I, I hadn't lost conviction in it, I did believe it was going down, but I just thought that it, it wasn't as quick as you would have imagined it to be, and I wondered what your thoughts were on that move. You are hysterical. Stop with the <laughs> Corrections stop with the pullbacks. This is what gets you in trouble with sometimes no, doing it things doesn't, wrong. It doesn't. Yes, it does. It doesn't. Your gaps show momentum, show where it's going. Mm -hmm, yes. But and... you need further analysis to tell you because you can't really, I mean, as this happened in one gap, you can't really, you've got to give it more substance in what it's actually doing because, <laughs> yes, it's gapped up, but it, it gapped up, didn't it, on the Thursday? And what does it have, have to do with anything? What, what does it have to do with anything? The point is that you have this mindset now, which I think has affected your ability to take profits and also at certain times to not take trades I've called, a.k.a. BABA, because you think it has to do a pullback. You have now completely changed the way that you're trading. No, I'm trying no, to help you here. No, I look at everything you, individually. But you're trading everything pullbacks individually. and that doesn't work. And that's not why this worked at all. This trade I called a week ago. This is not what I taught you. So you haven't learned anything. I, I'm, I want you to say I something have, that you've learned. I have, that's good. I have, because the momentum, the, the trend is still down, most definitely. But it's a question of, is it going to perform in the time frame that we want it to, to, to actually perform in? If you didn't in? think that, then you shouldn't have taken the trade. I did anticipate it moving sooner. But obviously, I also considered the time that you'd allowed within the option. Mm -hmm. It did allow for this, so there's not really a problem. And also, where I added to it was you <laughs> much are better, much better up. for my price. Listen, I don't want you to start doing that in every trade. I told you it was okay to do it in this one. I told you it was okay to do it in the diamonds. But quite yes. frankly, you could have, now that I know you're up a thousand bucks from Friday, you could have got out of this into the drop off from Friday. And there would have been nothing wrong with that. If you want to chunk it out, if you want to build up a bigger account, then you got you you will have to chunk it out in some of these trades. And when I say you can take more, you could do that on those trades. Now the diamonds you got out, I think, too early. That was fine. It was still a nice call. But you know this is lower because it is. But I'm telling you, you could have gotten out of that. You could have gotten out of that on oh, Friday. Oh, I could. I could. I was up a lot more than I am now. And actually, you could have Definitely. taken more and gotten out of it. Well, um, and just held on to the 155s. You could have. You could have you could have taken you could have not added now just listen to me you could have not added to the 155 just left it and then you could have taken the 160s which i didn't know which ones you had and you could have taken you could have really plopped it on and you could have made two three grand and get out now i'm just giving you ideas here i've had a just it's kind of like you're you you're sprinting some of the days you sprint some of the days you take a rest you take off you don't work out so I'm just giving you some ideas here. Now I believe this continues, but I I don't I don't know where it goes tomorrow morning. So you, when you when you decide to do this now, you've got two positions on a, a lot of money invested in one stock, one ticker symbol. You're going to be watching this like a hawk every second that it trains from now until the time you're out of it. I know you, but I'm just saying I'm giving you. You, you could have done what I just said before. I didn't know you you had two different strikes, but you know that's an idea. I do think that this warrants taking more. I said it. You could have added, I wished it would have gone immediately, it didn't, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, either way the trade is good, but I still haven't heard you say anything yet though that I want you to learn from this so you start to do better without me directing you here every second. You well, can't, you know, go ahead. The one thing that, that, I, that I found good mm -hmm. is that confirmation on Friday. That was really good. I mean, the power behind that bar, it was just oh, straight down, I mean, <laughs> Not just that, there's a good story behind it as well, isn't there? Which yeah, is obviously going to take it Yeah, I called the trade on Monday. Early. I didn't know there was a, going to be a Facebook breach on 50 million users on Friday. I have no idea about that. And I called the trade on Monday. 
Yes. Well, that's beside the by whatever it is that's caused it to do what it's doing. Mm -hmm. But it just was setting itself up. You could see on Thursday, it was setting its at the, at the close of the day. It was looking like it was going to fall on the Friday, and it did. You're you're still you're still not focusing enough on gaps. I still I gotta tell you, you gotta go back to the basics. You're still focusing on things that I think are you're you're well, focusing on too many other things, and I think that that has become problematic for you. And I'm trying to get you back to the basics because when the sim the more simplified you can make it. The more focus you can make it, it'll it'll be easier for you. Because just listen, if you have ten things you got to look at, then and they and they don't all match up. Some do, some don't. You're confused. If you have one thing to look at and it tells you everything is good in that one thing, you're like, okay, fine, everything's great. And then it's less stressful to do it. And that's I guess that's the point I'm trying to make. It's the only thing that I look at is the gap. And you're looking at all of these other things. And I think that is what's creating all of this overanalyzation in your mind and also where you're changing your mind all the time now let's so okay so where are you going to get out of this is the next question here i want to ask you quick tonight where are you getting well, out of this well first and foremost um below 160 i, I believe it's going below 160 mm -hmm. and i would think i'm probably looking at maybe it could be it could drop until midweek mm -hmm. which could take it a lot further than 160 but I mean, if it breaks 160, I mean, I'm looking at my chart, I would be saying it could it could go, well, first target 154. And if it goes further than that, it could go to 149. But that's just a number on a chart. So, you know, it, it might not get that, get that far. So if, ha, if it goes to 150, where, how much money would you make in all this whole thing combined? No, oh, that's true. I, I don't know. Um, I haven't. Well, add I mean, ten, add ten points, dreaming, add ten it, points on to the add ten points on to what you're up. Add ten points on. So add ten points on to twenty contracts. You'd make twenty grand. Plus, you'd make around twenty grand. Is that right? Well, that would be very nice. Well, um, if twenty contracts, two thousand times ten points is twenty grand. Right. I mean, I always find it a bit of a speculative thing, you know, when you're trying to calculate option prices. Because yeah, that's something I'm going to go over in that, that half-day options class I'm going to do December. But, I mean, just without even determining, say there's no there's no additional pricing in there at all, 10 points, 10 points th through the number is going to be times the amount. So the point mm. is it'll be around 20 grand, give or take, so at mm. least. So based on that... How, what what would you do then? Would you get back on track with things, or would you start to think every trade is going to be John Mungo? I mean, you, no, you had no, the I diamonds never, that was good. Did I, you do Tesla? Did you do the Tesla trade? No, it was no, it was, that was way way too too much. I, I I wasn't. I mean, it opened the price that it was on the on the screen before it opened. Yes, was a, a good figure, but as soon as the price opened, no, it just it was just too expensive. So All right, I, I well, that one's Tesla. up too. That one's up too. But you didn't do it. That's fine. I did, but you, you've got to be a little bit realistic in what you're actually doing, aren't you? You, you can't. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's um, fine. I'd like to see you make twenty grand in this. That would be great. I just, it would. I just, you just have to. You're still. I don't. I still don't think that anything that I'm saying is getting across to you. I'm helping guide you in these to make more. Well, it is. But I it, don't, is no, no, it is. No, it's not because it is. you said two wrong things today. I don't, you talked about I don't pullbacks. Look at, and you talked about something else, I forget that you said, that was totally nuts. You're you're still not focused on the right information. I'm guiding you. Do this, do this, do that. Yes. And that's fine. Yes. That's fine. I, I but can see that. You know, I can I, see that, Melissa. I can see that. Uh, and I do, I can see what you, what you see in a gap. But there are other things as well that come into play that are significant that as, as an addition. No, that. I'm telling you there aren't. I'm telling you there aren't. Well, I'm telling differ. you that there aren't. I'm telling you that there aren't. There are other things that, are, that nothing is that significant, and that's why that's why you need to focus on that. You think that otherwise. You think otherwise because out of a hundred trades, a hundred don't win. But that's not reality, and that's why when there's a really good one, you can you can make more of it. But it doesn't mean you do this with every one. Okay, this could go to a huge target. Yes, that's true. But don't expect every single one to. The diamonds trade did too. But again, 
Don't expect every single one to. Tesla, you're Absolutely. not in either. That could go to a big target too, but don't expect every single one to. We are getting into earnings season. There will be some that will be quick ones. There will be some that will be non-quick ones. But, you know, I, it's just, you know, I just, I think you're going to make agree. 20 grand in this trade. I'm glad you have the size in it. But the point is, though, that if you start to make that kind of money in these trades, you have to get back on track. And it's 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 it, it's not just the money things. I and mean, you really, I think, are looking at things in charts you shouldn't be looking at. And I, I pretty much said that all year. I pretty much said that all year. I pretty much said that all year when you were in the room every day. I said that all year. And that's why I just gave you an F about saying the pullbacks again. I mean, it's just like Howard was in the room and he was talking about going over the pivot. He said, "Well, this is yes. this is going over yes. the pivot." Well, I don't know if you were there that day. And I said, "Well, it's, I, it's I going was. Over yeah, the pivot. I was. But but you see, certain certain pivots can mean different things. It depends on which pivot you're actually looking at. But, you know, it, it depends on what you're familiar with trading and what sort of things you are. Your eyes trained to see. You it's should be training your eyes to see gaps. And that's the point I'm trying to make. You would do better if you would be more like me and only focus on that. And because you're focusing on so many things and then the money issues are coming up as well, it gets to be a big bubble. And, you know, you're, you're doing good now the last couple of weeks. Stay on pace here. This is a potential to be a big trade. I don't think 150 is crazy. In the time that you've got left in this, I don't think it at all. But, you know, either way, you haven't said anything tonight that's told me that you've learned anything. And I'm, I'm taking the time to make these little videos and then I'm posting them to help other people too. But, I mean, I can't, I can't do this for the, for the rest of my life. You have to learn something from these conversations. And tonight, I don't know what you learned. I don't think you learned anything. Well, I, I have. Yes, I have. I mean, obviously, it's the gaps and the gaps that you react to and you see the, the potential in the trades. And that's why you call the options on the, the gap moving the stock. Mm -hmm. And what's the potential in this trade? Why, why, why do you think that I might happen to agree with you about the number that it could go to in the time? What do you think? Why? Well, there are several other gaps that you would look at mm -hmm. that haven't been actually closed, you could say, or, or overridden. Um, they're up at 180, well, 175 ish that area but what does that the, have to do with it the, going to 150 well i'm, I'm looking at i'm saying why do you think that this could go to 150 why do you think this could go to 150 that's what i'm asking you why do you think that that's realistic and not insane well i'm looking at several numbers that you don't you don't really uh, regard but if i with my crosshairs you see you see one that 150 is is the actual low of the 26th of march 18. so that's the number that i'm looking at for it to break yeah but i mean why do you think like forget about the chart why do you think it's why do you think that it could go there i mean i know all these numbers on the chart there's a bazillion why do you think though it could go there in this time frame that you're in the trade conceptually here well why Explain it to me. Well, it's just the state of the chart, the way the chart actually looks, the way the way this the stock has been moving, has been steadily moving down, climbing back again, and then dropping again. So when you look at that, and you look at the movement that it's been making, that is the area when you take it down that is more of a potential bit of hit. I know, but it, just explain you were talking to a bum on the street in New York. Why do you think it's going to go to 150? <laughs> I'm serious. I know you are, but I'm trying to explain. And I I look at other things that give me other numbers, uh, such as Fibonacci that you don't like. No, but, no, because it confuses you. But no, anyways, you're top, no, uh, first of all, a bum market, on the street doesn't know what a Fibonacci is, and he doesn't moves, care. The market moves, as we all know, the market moves and it hits Fibonacci numbers and it can react around those numbers. Yes, it but it also have reacts any to gaps, meaning at doesn't all. it? It, it has no swings, meaning. It reacts to Elliott Wave. Oh, so, they have no meaning, so no much, meaning, isn't that? no meaning, no meaning, no meaning, no meaning, no meaning. Right, right, okay then. Well, would you like to... I want you to talk to a bum on the street, and I want you to tell him why you think the stock is going to drop 14, 15 points in the next two weeks. Well, 
even I mean just looking at that big the big gap down that we had what was that just in August mm -hmm. we haven't climbed over that we still look weak if you want to look at it in that sense but at the same time I'm looking at I'm looking at other numbers as well to give me that target. He doesn't, the bum on the street doesn't know what you're talking about. He's like, how do you know Facebook is going to drop 15 points? It could very well rally up 15 points. I could name numbers like 180, 182, 178, 175. I could name numbers above the price that would say it could rally. The bum on the street is saying, well, how do you know it's going to go down 15 points? It could go up 15 points, Philip. You, you, you tell me. You, you no, tell I me. want you to tell it to the bum on the street. I'm trying to tell it to the bum on the street. <laughs> no, you you want to talk to the bum on the street about Fibonacci's, and he doesn't have a laptop <laughs> with a Fibonacci right. number on his chart. So he is just sitting there, and he's trying to decide if he has his last dollar, if he should short the stock or buy the stock. Well, well, you could say that by Friday, you know, we they happen to lose, uh, well, or, you know, give access to 50 million users' accounts on Facebook, mm -hmm. which is a pretty strong sell, isn't it? A pretty mm -hmm. good selling, selling and indication. what happened? And what happened on Friday? Well, we had a big selling day. Mm -hmm. Strong selling. Mm -hmm. So I mean, if you're looking at if you're looking at it from a candle point of view, I mean, it's slight gap down, but I mean, not just that. It was Thursday's bar. Thursday, Thursday closed, and in fact, Wednesday the same. Climbed. Fell back. Yeah, but Wednesday to gapped Thursday, up it gapped Friday. up. It gapped up from Wednesday to Tuesday, but it did, gapped but up it's and selling, rallied, so. selling off again. It's yeah. selling back again, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Then, of course, Friday, well, Friday confirmed it. It gapped down slightly, mm -hmm. totally taking it down, mm -hmm. which closed the end of closed the day very negative. So you're talking to the bottom of the street. He's saying, hmm. So you're you, so you 